Second day at DFA 2021 with Army Recognition editorial team. Army Recognition is the official partner to provide the online daily news and the defense web TV. Big announcements are made today with big contracts signed, just one behind me a couple of minutes ago. Enjoy the presentation of today. My name is Jonathan Walton. I'm the Vice President Business Development for Babcock International Marine Sector. Well, this is the Arrowhead 140 frigate. Uh, it has been selected for the Royal Navy's Type 31 program, so endorsed by the UK Royal Navy. It's a highly capable, highly adaptable uh, general purpose frigate, but can be adapted to almost any operational purpose should the, should the, 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 that our customers might desire. It is uh, uh, extremely competitive in today's marketplace due to its uh, modular build characteristics with a very high degree of, uh, of uh, production engineering. It makes it simple to construct and we believe it's uh, a leading contender for the Hellenic Navy requirement. There's a lot of interest in the export market for, for this uh, frigate solution. We have uh, potential customers in the Far East and in Europe that we're pursuing uh, right now and some interest in Latin America also. What we're doing here at DEFEA is describing our proposal to the Hellenic Navy through the four pillars uh, of, the, of, the, of the program. The first pillar being the Arrowhead 140 new frigate. The second pillar being the upgrade, the midlife upgrade of four MECO frigates. The third pillar being the interim solution for bringing Type 23s to, uh, to Greece to work alongside the Greek Navy from the UK Royal Navy. And the fourth pillar being the industrial participation, both in relation to the shipyards of Greece and also the wider Greek supply chain. It's our intent to become uh, established as a long-term partner of Greek industry through this program and through other, uh, through other solutions both in the military and commercial space that we will bring uh, for, the, for, the, for Greek shipbuilding. I think uh, what we offer here is a highly competitive proposal for the Hellenic Navy and for, for Greece as a nation. We have a very strong uh, partnership in terms of our shared history and I think we can, we can demonstrate through our proposal that we have a partnership of navies, a partnership of governments and a partnership of industries. My name is Yaron uh, Rodet. I'm a VP for Armored Vehicle Programs uh, from Plasan Sasa, Israel. And uh, we are here presenting uh, Elvo, which is a, a Greek company that was uh, recently acquired by Plasan. And nowadays we are moving um, some of the production and the projects uh, into Elvo in Greece. So the vehicle that we see uh, next to us is an armored uh, G-Wagon which is uh, one of the most uh, capable platforms uh, around the globe. It's a lightweight platform, roughly about four to five ton, and armored in order to carry up to six uh, soldiers. What is really unique about this platform and the concept is that it is demonstrate the kitted hull armoring process of Plasan that allows us to produce the, the armored vehicle at the end user country. 
And as you can see, the kitted hull, which is actually creating the armored capsule around the vehicle, is made with no welding and with composite materials that allowing us to reduce the overall weight of the armored vehicle but by sometimes up to 30%. Here you can see um, an integrated electric mission module which actually has an electric power that allows us to transfer the vehicle into a 6x6 vehicle. In that way, the vehicle and the system incomplete can carry much more weight and of course provide much more thrust into the ground by allowing the vehicle to have a 6x6 uh, driven. Um, so all in all the concept is very unique and this is uh, one of the first time that we are showing that and here you can see that the attachment of the electric mission module into the vehicle is semi-rigid in a way it is very easy also to maneuver the vehicle because it has also a steering system for this particular axle. So when you go backwards, when you go reverse, then it is intuitive, same like your own car, and you don't need to have the uh, capability of a trailer. We are also carrying a huge amount of electric power together with us that can supply other missions, mission equipment system and assist us also to be driven in some cases in quiet mode. So not only the capability of a 6x6 but also the electric addition that we have um, to the vehicle and on top of that we can also go in different configuration from pushing to harvest electronic uh, electric so it will fill in the batteries etc so in a in a nutshell it is a very very interesting solution for the needs of the Hellenic army I am Mr. Mitzis the president of the ODH and we are deeply honored today to announce the enhancing of our strategic cooperation with KMW KNDS Group. And uh, we have just signed with the senior vice president, Mr. Ostefos, a contract for 10 years which can yield uh, to 100 million. Okay, my name is Heinz Ostefos. I'm the senior vice president procurement of KMW. And I'm proud to say that we now have a, a new step in our business with, uh, e, uh, with Mr. Mitzis because um, in the past we do the protection of the Leopard 2 and now we will also do the protection of the wheeled vehicles. We are really happy about the situation and we hope it will still go on for the next 10 years. Thank you very much. My name is Stefan Fontanari. I'm Senior Vice President of Kraus Maffei Wegmann and we are very happy to present the Dingo 2 here in Greece, which is now carrying also the Applique armor uh, from EODH. Um, the vehicle itself uh, has been in theater uh, for a long while in Afghanistan and other hot areas uh, around the globe. It's the only 4x4 vehicle so far which has no casualties, so it has an absolute fantastic statistic. Depending on the versions, we have different variants, so it's a family of up to 16 different type of vehicles. Uh, here you see a, a crew carrier, so it can accommodate up to eight people. We have doors on the left and the right, but there are also longer mission cells and safety cells which have the door on the, on the back, depending on what kind of mission you have. So it's fully logistically supported also here in country. And uh, we are more than happy and hope also to have further contracts here in country for the Dingo 2 yeah, to enhance our long lasting relationship. Taxiarchi Sardelis, I am a general retired and I am the vice president of Altus LSA. Altus LSA is a turnkey solution system integrator in the field of uh, unmanned uh, aerial vehicles 
and we are showcasing in uh, our uh, Defense Expo two main systems, Atlas 204 and Atlas 4. We showcase as well uh, something that is uh, in the final stages of design. It's called uh, uh, ADAM, which is a, a stealth with stealth, stealth capabilities unmanned aerial system. And uh, we are also partnering with uh, two other companies uh, that we are trying to incorporate our artificial intelligence in our systems. We are very happy that after almost 10 years we finally have a defense expo here in Greece. And I think it's a very good opportunity based on the fact that Greece now uh, covers a very special geopolitical and geostrategic region to say, showcase our products, which are products that they have high value, uh, highly added value in, uh, in, the, in the defense and military sector. And what we uh, would like to showcase here is the reliability and the high capability of our products. Outside Greece, yes, we had already tenders in uh, Southeast Asia and uh, recently we had uh, two tenders, one with OSCE in Ukraine. Our products are monitoring the green uh, zone and uh, also with uh, uh, EMSA, the European Maritime Safety Agency, uh, because uh, they use our products in order to monitor the fumes from the various ships that they are going to the ports in order to be compliant with EU regulations. So those are the two main uh, tenders that we're highlighting uh, at this point. Keep in mind Altus, which is a very uh, capable and a highly reliable company. So welcome here at DFR 2021 at the Arcus tent. We're here to present the VLRA truck, which is our main tactical truck, which is a 12-ton vehicle able to, to load a total of 5 tons payload or up to 30 people. It is a robust, simple, versatile truck uh, able to fulfill any tactical mission on the field. It's a truck which uh, has been uh, around in its first version since the 60s in the French Army and Special Forces and still serving in the French uh, Army. And in the 2010s, we developed a second version of a vehicle with the Valeray, this one, which we are offering to Greece, uh, especially through a partnership. So we are looking for partners to associate and to compete in a call for tenders for Greece to equip the, the Greek army. And we are also here to present uh, the VBL, VBL Ultima version, which we have been developing for the French army as well, and which we are also offering for Greece. It's a new version of a vehicle, including a new engine, new reinforced suspensions for a higher payload um, capabilities, and also an increased um, mobility for the vehicle. And on top of a VLRA, we had to discuss two different other programs. The first one is a program for liaison vehicle for the, the Greek army. And we are going to offer the VT4, the Trapper vehicle, which has already uh, been selected by the French army in more than 4,000 uh, vehicles. And uh, we're also here to discuss the automatization program for the VBL, which has been serving in the Greek forces since the 90s in more than 240 units. So um, under this program, we are offering to the, to the French army a new engine for the vehicle, uh, air conditioning, reinforced suspensions uh, for uh, higher mobility and higher payload. And this is uh, a package which we are also offering for the Greek army, which we have been uh, supplying and also supporting throughout the years uh, for now more than 25 years.